Scissors. Ooh. A gun. Some tape. Well, I think that's all we're about going to find here. Alrighty, so welcome to follow up for the interview. <laughs> so, don't we all love Fallout? An incredibly buggy game. Yes. True, it has its faults, but it also has its upsides. Like for one, you can randomly come across a town and to get in, they're gonna interview you. Damn, this place is fortified. Look at that. They got turrets up. They're not shooting me. I think this might be like a... What is this? I've never seen this place. I've never once been here. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bottle. Got a doctor can patch you up. We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Diza calls it anyway. There's a small catch. We don't just though. let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test? I track? probably shouldn't say nothing. But listen, my charisma's one. What the fuck? Show me good people from no undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? Being cautious. Not a bad call. You do what you gotta do. You wanna take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. I'll take this sure. test. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? That just sounds like the scientific way of saying he's going to stick his cock in me. But, uh... He cut off his cock. <laughs> Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. The doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? I cut off his cock. Very, very interesting. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I think I'm going to go with, I break his legs, that way he can't run. And then afterwards, I'm going to go find a horde of super mutants, lead him to the cave. And then from there... I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, it'll be fun to watch. Very curious. Congratulations. Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Catcher. Absolutely catcher. I love taking balls. <laughs> Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? First off, coolest grandma ever. Second off, anything for grandma. Anything. Please treat the question seriously. Or are you? Next. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I hug a grenade in and see how long it takes for him to run out. And maybe he doesn't make it. Not my problem. And that is all you do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I now have a third arm to tug on my third leg. What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> Near total absence. Hmm. 
A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I kill him and take it. That's simple. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... One of two things. I either super glue the toilet seat so when he sits down he can't get up. Or <laughs> I super glue the entire toilet shut so he can't open it. <laughs> Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Well, that's nice. Dude, imagine the bathrooms after a nuclear war. Toilet paper is a thing of the past. Now, we use our hands in a pocket of sand. You don't like, how, how do you wash your butt? Like, what, what about the people who use bodets? Like, they're not gonna wash their ass with the radiated water. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.